We left off with chapter six. Junie B had put on her graduation gown and she was showing it to her stuffies. And then she went down because she was thirsty and poured grape juice and was bringing it back up to her room. What do you think's gonna happen? Let's see if we're right. Chapter seven, juice driblets. Grape juice can go wrong. First, Raggedy Rush got purple on her mouth. Then Teddy got a dribble drop on his paw. And then, oh no, oh no, all capitals. Raggedy Larry forgot to swallow his whole entire sip. Driblet spilled all over my bookshelf. I covered my mouth very shocked. Then my heart pounded and pounded because if grape juice gets on my rug, I am in big trouble, Missy. A cloth, a cloth. I need a cloth, I hollered. I ran around and around and around all over my room. Then all of a sudden, my eyes looked down at my clothes. And what do you know? I saw all the cloth I needed. I quick took it off of me and I soaked up the driblets. <sighs> my shoulders felt relief in them. Whew. That was a close one, I said. After that, I walked to my bed and I plopped on my pillow. My brain was a genius to think of that, I said. I breathed and breathed, then all of a sudden, I did a teensy frown because something didn't feel right here, that's why. I covered my head with my sheet. Then I turned my head very slow and I peeked out at my bookshelf. My stomach did a flip-flop because I saw my graduation gown, that's why. And it had juice driblets soaked into its front. <gasps> I looked at Raggedy Larry real mad Oh no, look what you made me do, I said. You made me use my graduation gown to soak up that dumb juice. Great, Larry, just great. After that, Raggedy Larry got put under my bed and he didn't come out again. Juice driblets do not go away, even if you erase them with your brand new eraser or if you color them with your new white crayon or if you brush them with daddy's new whitening, brightening toothpaste. I brushed up and down and all around, but the driblets did not budge. Shoot, I said. Now I look like a sloppy baby at graduation. I will look like a sloppy baby. And I'm not even the one who dribbled. Just then I heard a knock on my door. It was Grandpa Miller. Junie B, is everything all right in there? He said, <gasps> my heart got very pounding again. Yes, Grandpa, yes, everything is perfectly perfect, I s hollered. I am just playing with my stuffed animals and that's all. Grandpa Frank Miller knocked some more. Could you open the door, please, he asked. <sighs> I felt tension in me because I didn't want him to see my problem, that's why. I quick pushed my graduation gown under my bed. Then I opened my door a teeny crack. Hello, how are you today, I said. I'm fine, except I'm right in the middle of something, so I would like to get back to it, please. Grandpa Miller was holding baby Ollie. He looked disappointed at me. Oh, phooey, he said. Now that I've got your brother cleaned up, I thought maybe you and I could teach him how to play checkers. I looked at Ollie. He was wearing a clean shirt with purple polka dotties. No, thank you, I said. Maybe I'll teach him checkers some other day. I waved at my grandpa Miller, very sweet. Well, nice seeing you again, Frank. Goodbye, I said. After that, I closed the door and I waited for grandpa's footsteps to leave. Finally, I pulled my graduation gown out from under my bed and I stared and stared at that stupid thing. Why did this dumb gown have to be white? I grouched. Why couldn't it be purple like the grape juice? If it was purple like the grape juice, the driblets wouldn't have blended right in. I tapped my fingers, real annoyed. Oh, why couldn't this dumb gown have purple flowers on it? The juice would blend in with flowers too, I bet. Or what about 
polka dotties like Ollie's shirt. If there were purple polka dotties, no one would notice the driblets for sure. Just then, I sat up very fast because I was getting another brainstorm in my head, I believe. I zoomed straight to my desk. Then I looked through all my drawers and I found my colored markers. I laughed real happy. Then I spread my graduation gown on the floor and I worked and I worked very hard. And guess what? When I finally got done, you couldn't even spot the driblets hardly. My brain is a genius after all, I said. After that, I put my cap and gown in the box again and I took it back to my grandpa Miller. All righty, grandpa, I said. You can put this back on the refrigerator now, please. Then I smiled real big because guess what else? He did. Tomorrow, Chapter 8, Getting Ready. See you tomorrow.